Hello again, Dave Nelson here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a folder, which means how to put like a drop down menu up here, and then how to add a page. Now, you don't have to add any pages. These are all the ones, but if you have something specific that you want people to go see or something you want to show off, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, before we hop into it, like, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. Also, if you don't have, if you're not able to do the, some of these things, it's not a you issue. It's going to be whatever plan you're under, or if your team leader or brokerage doesn't allow you to do so. If you're at real like myself, you have full access to do all of these things. So whatever you see here, you can do. So follow along. <clears throat> all right. So what folders are are like these little drop down menus. So actually, on the website itself. It's going to show you buy, but if you hover over the buy, it's going to pop these down. Okay. So let's say you're going to go down to here to let's close this, close this, close this. So in the very bottom here, you probably can't see. It's going to say add a folder. My head's in the way. I'm going to get my head out of the way. Nope, that's too big. There we go. So right down here, it says add a folder. I'm not sure why it's not popping up so well here. I'm going to go back here. Let's go here again. There we go. So add a folder. So you click that, and then it says folder one. So we'll just show it. We're going to call it test. Now, right now, it's hidden, so you can't see it up here. But if I drag it up here to below trusted vendors, it'll pop up. But no, wait, it doesn't pop up. Why is that? Well, there's nothing in this folder right now, okay? So maybe you want my partner, a, a, a page that I've created or a page that's here I'm going to put there. Let's put partner lender. So if you drag it and highlight that folder, boom, now it appears up on your toolbar because you hit the little arrow, there's something in there. Or you can also do, let's get rid of this because I don't want that on there. Or if you do hover, add a page. This is the part we're going to add a page. Um, FYI, anything that's a menu, you can put it into folders. So I like folders because it's cleaner. If you've got a bunch of things across your toolbar, it's just confusing, especially on mobile. So um, put folders are great for kind of cleaning things up. But we're going to add a page. It's going to open up this window. Now it's going to ask you, what type of page do you want to do? So is, is it a home page, listings, market snapshot, um, sell my home reviews, featured areas? I mean, there's a bunch, okay? Blank, which I'll show you in a little bit, but there's also link. So let's say you you already have a, a website or a really cool link that you want to drive them to. So maybe you have an exclusive program that you want them to drive them to. Well, you can hit link, click next, Page name, let's say it's fancy program. URL, so I'm gonna, you have to click the URL. So I'm just gonna copy my, this URL right here. You copy the URL, and then it's gonna ask you to, do you want it to have it open on the current page? So that means they stay on the same page, or I have it, I typically, when I have a URL, I have a new page. So that means my real estate website, my lofty page is still always open, but then it opens a new, new, new tab or a new page with this one on here. And then you hit save. Okay. So we're going to hit publish. Publish successfully. So now we're going to go back to my actual website. So I refreshed it. Look, there's test. And look, fancy program. So if I click on it, it's going to open up a new tab that I copied. And I actually copied this page. So that's how to add a link. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I screwed up here. Let me go back to share my screen. Now, let's say if you want to add a different, I'm going to delete this. Yes. We're going to add a blank page. So these are great, but you already kind of already have these already. The blank page is something if you want to have unique. So we're going to add blank. Next, you're going to call, we'll call it blank. You can change the name, blank one. Um, you can also do the SEO. We're going to hit save. Now this opens up. Now this is just 
all it's going to have right now is just your footer and header. Now you go over here, and this is where you can add things in here. So maybe you want to add an HTML code somewhere, or I mean, an embed code. So you want to drag, oops, drag that there. So if you want to put code in there, or if you, and then, oh, let's, let's, let's maybe have a contact information. Let's put that there. So there's all these things that you can have. You can create these pages as, as you want to. And then you can do it. So you can, your website can be as personalized as you want, or, you know, just as basic too. Um, I typically don't create a lot of these pages only if I, I do offer an exclusive program called the certified pre-owned home program. So when they click on that, it actually opens up a different site so they can look at it. But otherwise, most people are going to go on your website for looking to buy and sell, right? So whatever you have on your website, if you're going to add a page, make sure it somehow attaches to that, right? Maybe it's download your book about selling your house. Maybe it's a page that's about um, download your buyer guide or seller guide or learn more about your listing plan, whatever it is. Um, just make sure it pertains to this. Don't put any of this crap up there. It, it just kind of loses your value. But again, whatever you do, make sure you hit publish. Um, so I'm, we'll hit save. There you go. Great. It's saved and hit publish. But of course, I don't want this. So I'm going to go back to pages. I'm going to delete this right here. Delete this folder. All pages will also be deleted. Heck yeah. I don't want that. So now that's all gone. Publish. Okay. So that's how you add a page. And again, it's pretty cool. But like you said, I, I don't have a lot of added pages. So if I'm going to go to my own tab, and as you can see, this is what I have, sell my home, home valuation, about me, the blogs. I mean, that again, it goes to your blog. So I don't really have anything that gets takes takes them off the website. The worst thing you can do is have a web, have a page, create a page that takes them off your website that they don't know how to get back to your website. So that's why I say open a new tab. So that way, if they click on something that's not a part of my website, well, at least my website's still open and then it goes over to something else. So there you go. But if you have any questions on this, let me know. Um, but uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Continue watching these videos because I'll be constantly putting out information. If there's anything that you want to be, if, you can, if you're confused or maybe you think this would be a good video topic, always put a comment down, all right? Um, I've been doing this for eight years. So a lot of things I don't think are difficult maybe be difficult for other people or vice versa. So um, put in a comment. Let me know what you're thinking and I'll make a video, all right? So there you go. Have a great day and uh, make sure you clean up your tabs and uh, have a good one.